these craters. Hey, where am I? I'm tied up. Oh, Jesse, look out for... Hey, I'm tied up too. What's happening? Rise and shine, Lightyear. Zerg? No, I was referring to him to mention my name, not you. Yeah, but I saw your video package game lots of times. Oh, look who's finally the expert. I'm very proud for this. Why am I tied up to the red one? You mean that police cruiser? Yeah, but I prefer red one. Always the rookery one. Yeah, I know all about rookeries. <laughs> Recognize the setting? Even though we're not at Sid's place, but you'll get the picture. Wait, did you say Sid's place? No, D Darla's dental office. Of course, Sid's place. Oops. Man, I really need to hold my spoiler alerts more often. Remind me to eat this kid later on. Maybe in some other t point of view. Why am I tied up? I don't know, but I can't wait to be entertained with your demise, both of you. <laughs> <coughs> Save your asthma, Grievous. You'll need it. Quiet, you. I don't serve you. No purpose here. Okay, why you hate this guy so much? Are you jealous because he's famous and you're nothing? Wrong. I am famous. Just not yet for everyone to admire me. At least I admired you. Can we just cut to the chase? We'll talk about celebrities and fame later. Right. <clears throat> in case you may remember, back in 1995, where the year where you guys were rivals before you got a friend in need, this is how it's going to happen. You're tied up to the rock and I said to self-destruct. You said the what? Stitch is not going to like it. But why is but why am I here? Cause you're the one who created this little space ranger like rebellion to save him. But I never said that. I know I was thinking in case you do a reboot, which is what's gonna happen afterwards. <laughs> reboot? Yes, you're gonna start all over again. But only this time, he's in his presence only. Yes. Your presence? Of course, my presence. You see, Lightyear, I never got to appear in your first movie from the start. You and this this sheriff got everything except me. How would I even exist? Because you're my nemesis. But look on the bright side. At least you appear in the show. Is not good enough? Wrong. I need to be more than a show. I need to be fiction made. And yet I'm still a parody to the original. I can hear you from here, Zerg. Really, Vader. So, I decided to end you. We're going to do what happened a long time ago, but this time, I'm in present to, to be seen. That's what I just said, boss. Hmm. But why am I here? You're going to be a cookout fry for carnage afterwards. Cook? Oh, I remember. Sid was going to burn me. Yes, he was. Ugh. You won't get away with it. Ugh. And and now the self-destruct blast-off will begin at least 10 minutes. So you have all the time to say farewell. Let me just set the coordinates to the planet, the Death Star. Not yours, the other Death Death Star. You are referring to the sun. I hate sunlight. I mean, I don't like the fire part. Why don't you like fire? Because it burns. Ooh. Yikes, it does burn. Anyway, before you die, let's see what will we terminate this sheriff to. The thrusters, or before that? Let me be the judge this. <laughs> Alright, sheriff, you're gonna be burned on this side or on that side. Well, let me see. Ugh. Uh, let me go or else, or else what? You're going to put me into custody at Alchemax? Uh-uh, been there, done that. This time I'm free. What do you mean Alchemax? Or Alcatraz, actually. <clears throat> Sorry, wrong place. I was thinking the company. Ah, now it's gone. You see, I was in prison once before I met him in person. Even though this would be interesting. But now, it's your turn to be 
in prison by the morgue. But I did nothing to you. Of course you didn't. I just want to feel famous again. That way I can forget all my worries. And after that, you guys will be rebooted and he'll be in present. But look on the bright side. Maybe unlike your original carnations yourselves, maybe your new ones will be survived. That is if things matter. So have fun and enjoy your last hours of survival. You're going to need that breath for once. Ugh. You won't get away with it, you red sicking flubber. Flubber? Yuck. I don't know what that stuff is. Actually, I do. I did some research on Earth. I like the movie Flubber. It's gross. Especially in the black and white one. That one shapes my color. Really? How about do some research where people in New York found some goo related to that, except it's made out of something this. Uh, anyway, enjoy the Scream Death Extractor. Keep your hands, arms, and all that, etc. inside the death vehicle at all time and no smoking. Wait, what am I saying? You are gonna smoke. Pipe it down, Randall. Ugh. Ugh. I hope our friends find us. And I hope Stitch does, too. One way or another. Yes. What's his problem? I don't know. Stitch is angry because his red w one is being stolen. You mean his space cruiser? Yes, my space cruiser is stolen. Perhaps I should scan for it. Any assistance I can use? Yes, Vision. But it'll take me a while f to scan. I have found it. Right there it is. Seek for the cruiser, we must. Wait, where's Buzz and Woody? I don't know, last night they were going to go out for a movie or actually to the El Capitan Theater to ask if they can play this Luca movie on June by theaters instead of on, on the Plus streaming. I don't know if it's going to work because it's already been decided. If they don't play in theaters, that means... The only Pixar movies that are going to come out in streaming are the suck ones. Maybe because no one's a big fan of Luca. Maybe not yet, actually. Yeah, and yet I'm still expecting a much more better sequel. Only something that came out before it. And maybe before yours. What do you mean? That's nothing. But I do want to see how this ends because I still adore these, these those guys. It makes it so cute the way I feel it. You are referring to... I have found them. Go, we must. You found what? I have detected Buzz and Woody, but they won't last forever, not with the ship still in self-destruction. Self-what? What do you mean, what ship? It's your police cruiser. What? They're gonna... Why? I'm guessing the bad guys must have kidnapped them last night before they try to make a negotiation deal. We gotta go save them. I'm on it. But wait, what about this red nega globby guy? Okay, first off, hero is it? It's Carnage, not nega globby. But I like the reference because it brings up every time. Yeah. Then what are we waiting for? We must save them before their lives are at stake. But before we do that, we need to realize why they're doing this. Okay, only only 20 more seconds. Excellent. Look, are you still jealous because you didn't get to appear in the first one because I mentioned you a few times? Look, if it wasn't for me, I would have brought you in. Yes, I am jealous. And you're lucky I did have some social medias. So it's nice knowing you, Lightyear. Looks like I'm going to need a new nemesis. Ooh. How about that little clownfish child? Maybe he will be a perfect victim to my success. You lay one claw on his fins, I swear I'm going to... You'll do what? Haunt me in the rest of my life? Been there, done that with Qui-Gon. You did. I never met this Qui-Gon, unless he's responsible for my past, along with Kenobi 
You leave them out of this. You mentioned it first, not me. Ugh. Or what if I can tell you I can get you up for an auditioning for Toy Story 5, just in case me and Buzz will reunite each other again. Nice try. Everything's about you, but not anymore. Ugh. Zerg, before you destroy one more thing. What? I need to use the restroom. Ha! <laughs> no. You can't use the restroom during an attraction. It is very impolite. <laughs> Good one. Okay, yeah, he is jealous. And I think I know why they're using this scene. Why is that? This is the same one where, where Woody and Buzz defeated Sid before he almost got blown up into pieces. Just like that. Whoa. Except it doesn't look like the big one. It looks like the red one. My shift. Patient stitch. Ah, ah, ah. We don't want to blow our cover, do we? No. Then we must use strategies. Okay, we're going to do what Buzz and Woody would have wanted. What's that? For Woody, we assemble a team. And for Buzz, let's bring Star Command to action. Ex only you are half space alien. And the rest of you are, are upgraded in armor. Except me. I lost my space suit. Don't worry. I'll let you borrow mine. Except I'll make a few. Maybe I'll ask Edna to fix it up for you. Really? Yeah, she's good at suits. But she refused to have capes. Like mine. I can still shrink the cape down. Because i it's already half programming. I don't wear capes. Of course you don't. Alright kid. How's it work? Well. Let's, let me think for a second. Well last time we met. We're a titan. On this planet. Iron Man and, and Doctor Strange device a plan. Which is kind of related. First we... All we did first was was hide into deep cover while Thanos is distracted, then Iron Man did his stunt. Yeah, it works every time. And like in the movie, he he also respond back hours while he's respond back we. <laughs> that that's got an idea. I'll go first. After all, I'm the benefactor of the Disney Knights and I'm gonna do it. You're only a benefactor because you know how it feels to be ignored. Due to why you're ignored again? I'm ignored because I don't have my movies on Disney+. Plus. In fact, Sony still refused to let me be part of Disney. I'm always a prisoner. I can't take this ignorant anymore. We can't take this ignorant either. Because we're not famous, the only ones... Who are better than us are just females. Yeah, too many girly stuff. I know how you feel. Okay, we can discuss relationships later for now. Can we just go into our plan? Because we got only like five seconds. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Hey, we'll disable it. Alright, this, this fight isn't big enough for both Disney Knights. Allies, isn't it? What? Sorry, wrong speech. Spidey? Finally, someone will rescue me. Yeah. Oh, if it isn't the friendly, spectacular, and yet amazing neighborhood Spider-Man. How many times are you going to establish? Let's just say this... This... Let's cut to the chase. I'm listening. What is it you have foretold? Look, we don't like blowing up either, because this fight is between me and ours. Nice try, I already seen your tricks. And besides, I still have a self-destruct button on the torpedo. Now if you excuse me, I need to... Get off me, you LGM. LGM, I am not. Master Yoda. How many times do I have to squish the bug? He's not a bug. I am. Yes! <laughs> Get off me, you little fool. Yes! You're out of s insults. Not now I am not. Yes! 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 Okay, I'll take care of the Omnidroid over here. 
You guys handle off the rest. Hey, Bonehead. Remember me? Not so much. Alright, let's punch this out. Right to the cranium and the cardiac. Yes, yes, get off me. Look, you are half muscle, aren't you? Yes. Alright, you little goblin, Junior. You're mine. Actually, he's an old man. I don't care. But he's mine. Got any pumpkin bombs? Actually, he does. Except he's huge. Now! Looks like you met the dental appointment. What? Sorry, I'm out of puns. That means... Let's just fight. I'm out of thoughts. Agreed. You're mine, Ezra. I'm act I'm not Ezra. I know, but I but your face reminds me of someone else like your skin. Oh really? Apparently I'm not skinned. Out of my way, droid. You can't get past me. Hey Hey Doom, get the Get your hands off of him. He's my robot. Want to fight someone? Fight him. Ugh. You appear to be disordered. Let me help you regain your mind. Get your metal hands off my cape. So, didn't your mom ever tell you not to play with red sticks? And furthermore... Don't you ever remind me of my mother, especially how I feel very, very... Okay, what's wrong with him? He appears to be having a flashback through his past. Flash... I have an idea. I have a potion that will make him stun for a bit. But I need to get his helmet open. Perhaps an injection with the injectors. Thanks. It's not going to kill him, isn't he? No, it won't kill him. For now. But for now, I gotta get... Help me off this ship. It's gonna blow up. Hang on. Quick, untie him. Alright. You're mine. Get off me, Lizzie. Well, I'm going to chop your head off, too. I'm taking no chances. Oh, no, you don't, you red goblin. Red goblin? Yes. Leave him alone, you creepy creature with blood. Out of the way, Ghost Rider. This ain't your fight. That's not Ghost Rider. I know, I just missed the guy with the fire on the head. Well, lucky for you, I was on fire. Twice. Oh, really? Then prepare to meet the infusion, Santa Claus. Ugh. Actually, you're the Santa Claus here, since you're red. I'm the Nightmare of Elm Street. Get the point? I will untie you now. Thanks. Alright, now to deal with Venom. Hey, Big Mouth. Come and meet your dental. I intend to. Yes. Not him. Me. You're next. Don't take any chances. Yes. Yes. You know, I'm always a big fan of you. This isn't your fight, insect. Alright, guys, I'm going to need backup or... Huh? Ugh. Mother. Padme. No! I'll save you! Where are they? Where's my mother? The sand people! Ugh. No! What's happening? Okay, what's wrong with him? He's suffering a concussion through his greatest fears. The, l the fear of his lost relatives. Ugh. No! Ugh. I must... Must save them. I kind of feel bad for him because I know how that feels. 
Yeah, but we have bigger problems. Since I untie them, the ship's going to self-destruct. <clears throat> Stitch is up to you. I know you're you're stronger. Yeah. This isn't over yet. Nada cuesta. What does that mean? It means in your face, machine head. That's not what it means. I don't want to appropriate that. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Oh no, you don't. Six to six. It's my ship now, and you're gonna enjoy this. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Ah! Out of my face, Boggy. Yeah. That thrusters is not broke working. Yes. You appear to be increasingly insane. Perhaps and I a solitary confinement will tame you calmly. Just until you forget all this insanity inside you. Oh, really? Well, I'm sorry, Doctor. I'm about to show you the... The Executioner. Let me go, you, you green... Okay, that does it. Now what? The ship's not working. It's gonna blow up and detonate. Perhaps I shall do it. You? No, no, no. Don't do this. Last time you did it, not only, not only that, you lost your, your, your old body. Yes. That is why I must take reasons for my own. And I will have to do it by secure measures. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. You must put the other villains into custody. I'll help Stitch guide the ship. Where to? At least let me come with you. Because I'm stuck! What? Yes. Yeah, that's right. I put some tar in there. In case he tries to make any adjustments. And furthermore... Pss, pss, ah! You laugh too much. Alright, Baymax. Get Stitch out of here with the ship. <sighs> <laughs> no! What happened? He sacrificed himself. Alright, everyone, assemble. We gotta go see them. Don't go away, forearms. All right, let's move. What's wrong with Stitch? Why is he fading? I'll let me scan him. I'm afraid he is dying. What do you mean dying? He's indestructible. Yes, but his limits are per temporarily. You see, the blast of the nuclear caused his programming to malfunction. Wait, just like in the... I mean, just like when he was glitching. His eyes turned green, but at first his friends thought... He was turning bad, but they didn't know he was broken. And we have to fix him. He needs a generator. Him. And the ship. And we gotta fix him first. But wait, where's his ship? I have it. I kept it just in case something bad will happen. But he's still broken. Okay, how much power he has left? It, it, he has only five hours to live. Oh... Stitch. Good. Yeah, I don't like that. 
Let's go fix this doctor so we can fix his patient. I'm on it. I got the Stark technology to fix it. Anyway, thanks for coming for us. Anytime, soldier. Anytime. Actually, I'm a sheriff. Yeah, I know. I'll keep an eye on Stitch, making sure he's okay. Oh, it's all right, son. You'll be fine. Oh. Uh. 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 Mustafar. Uh. Uh. Great, we lost again. Let's see if I can wait before they took us into custody. This looks familiar. Look what Vader's doing. Should we leave him because I feel like ignoring him? Yes, let's leave him. Nope, let's help him. Besides, I'm not like the psychopathic emperor he th that everyone else thinks they are. Yeah, I hate this old man. This guy's a psycho. Next time I see him, I'm gonna burn the electros off his hands. You don't want to mess with Sidious. Why not? Because there's lots you don't know about him. He's extremely indestructible. Uh, help me. I'm... Uh. Let's repair him first. His legs and arms are damaged. At least not completely. You know, I still wish next time we do some stunt like today, let's do the same thing on him. But this time, how you will do it. That is if I betrayed him. But not yet. I'm saving it for the real Anakin Skywalker. This appears to be a clone. Clone. I hate clones. That means you hate your pawns? They're my brothers who have possessed them. Let me heal him. I've done it before. Good. And let me use my tech to f save him. How you doing, buddy? I am fine, fine hero. Who is my patient to serve and heal? That would be Stitch. I will, I will try to heal him. And we fixed the ship too. Also be part of your generator. But he only has two hours left. Now I must repair him. How do you feel? Oh, Stitch feels fine. At least you pull yourselves back together, because it's starting to remind me of an old movie I saw back in the 90s. Except, neither of you came out yet. And it's not even the same universe, but you'll get the reference. Really? Yeah. Well, let's just hope it's over, because I don't know what's going to happen next. Neither do I. But, hopefully it doesn't matter. <laughs>